uh, once installed. So uh, what, what we need to do right now is uh, we need to import as a Bennett Lab image, which, uh, which we were uh, downloading. So uh, the role of Windows 11 machine is finished uh, till this moment because I used it to illustrate how to download the, or how, or how to download and install the virtual box software. So I will minimize the operating system of uh, uh, Windows 11 and will open a virtual box from my local computer. And uh, after opening the uh, virtual box software from my local computer, I will click on uh, import. And then I will choose the image uh, which I just downloaded, the Bennett Lab image. And once I choose the image, I will click next. Then I will choose the criteria or the specifications that I need to grant for this device. So as for the CPU, I will leave it as it is, four cores of CPU, eight gigabyte of RAM. You might uh, increase it if you want, but this is the minimum, or, or let's say this is the recommended size of RAM that will allow you to run Bennett Lab in, in very uh, seamless way. And you may need to leave uh, everything as it is, uh, but last thing that you may need to, to choose is the location of uh, the installation or, or the location of the virtual uh, uh, Bennett Lab image. So I will choose uh, a proper location on my uh, computer that uh, I know that it includes a free space. So I will choose the D drive and I will add it in a folder called Bennett. Then I will click Import. And I will wait till the import process got completed. So it might take a few minutes. So uh, the import process should be completed by now. Now I can power on the machine. So uh, I, will, uh, I will make sure that I am standing on the machine. I can uh, click on settings and give it a name in order to make it unique. So I will call it Bennett Lab uh, video. Then I will click start on top of the page. Now the Bennett Lab image should start uh, and it should uh, start the processing. So I will wait. It now opened in uh, additional or in a different window. So it will start and it should take uh, like one to two minutes in order to fully power on. So uh, the image or the machine is now loading like um, any operating system load. It is now uh, starting. So uh, in case you uh, clicked on uh, inside this window, the mouse will uh, remain inside this window. In order to release the mouse to, uh, to be able to use it in your normal operating system, all what you have to do is uh, to click on uh, right control, the right control button on your keyboard. You need to click on it. And by the way, you uh, you can also find uh, in in the bottom of uh, the uh, Bennett Lab image or uh, or the window of the Bennett Lab uh, virtual machine. We will call it a virtual machine because it is exactly a virtual machine. You have uh, the symbol of right control, which means whatever whenever you uh, your mouse is captured inside this window, all what you have to do is click on uh, right control. So I will uh, remove uh, this uh, notification window. And now I can see that Bennett Lab image is uh, operating using uh, IP address 192.168.1.1.0.3. And the uh, uh, default username is root and the password is Bennett. So I will uh, insert the mouse inside uh, the virtual machine window and I will click enter. As, as then I will add or create or enter the default username, which is root as it as it is written on the screen, then I will uh, type the password, which is pnet small. Now I have access to the machine. And when you log into this machine for the first time, it will take you to a quick setup uh, menu. It, it, it is now asking me to uh, change the root password. I will uh, keep it as it is. So I will type it as a Bennett once again. Then I will need to repeat it on a, one more time. It's now asking me to specify the domain name. I will leave it as it is. And it is asking me if I want to uh, use static IP address or DHCP IP address. By the way, the Bennett Lab is bridged to my network, which means if anyone uh, inside my network tried to open the IP address, which, has, which I mentioned earlier, 
will be able to uh, access uh, this virtual machine web interface uh, as long as the firewall of my device is uh, allowing uh, such connection. So I, I personally prefer to keep it as a DHCP IP address in order to uh, change uh, as long as I'm moving from uh, one network to another. So I will leave the option of IP address to DHCP as it is. And then it, it is asking me to uh, provide an NTP server address. I will leave it as it is also. And I will choose that I have direct internet connection. And then uh, it should be fine. The virtual machine will restart and uh, we will wait till it powered up again. So in order to re release our mouse from the window of virtual machine, remember to press uh, right control button. So our machine is finally uh, powered up and we have now uh, the option to log in again. So I will provide the username root and the password is Bennett. Now I have uh, terminal access to this machine. In order to start using the software, what you have to do is to open your web browser. Uh, no matter what what is this web browser, any web browser will do. So I will use uh, Fire, Firefox. And uh, if you missed the, to get what was IP address, what you have to do is in, on the virtual machine, either uh, from uh, the login page, you will find the IP address written on top of uh, the page. It is 192.168.1103. Or you can log into the machine itself and type fconfig command. Then add a pipe icon, then uh, type more. And typically the IP address that you could use to enter the machine or manage the machine is associated with Bennett uh, Zero interface, which is 192.168.1.103. So I will uh, type this IP address in my browser, HTTP 192.168.1.103. Oops, 102, 103. So uh i wrote the ip address it is now asking me to specify which uh, way, uh, whether i want to work with online mode or offline mode for lab environment and for typical usage i recommend to use the offline mode so the offline mode will do and we will continue our illustration on the offline mode i need to create username and password but by the way you have uh, a default username and password which is rule uh, which is admin and password is pin it so for the CLI access uh, username was root, but for the GUI access or the graphical user interface, the password is admin and uh, the user is admin and password is Bennett. And, need, and then you need to add uh, the capture uh, written on the screen below, then hit login. I will choose to save the password. And now you have access or have uh, the image or, or or now you are on the graphical user interface or the typical interface of Bennett Lab. So uh, in order to create a new lab, what you need to do is create on a new lab, add new lab icon and give this lab a name. So I will call it this lab. Then I will create add. Of course, you have many options in Bennett Lab because this software have uh, has a lot of capabilities that can uh, support test centers or academ academies that uh, want to deliver cybersecurity or network related courses. So uh, we have a lot of capability when creating a lab, like uh, giving permission to users uh, who, who, of, uh, who, who of users uh, is eligible to edit or uh, modify this lab. But what I'm showing here is the typical usage that uh, you as a normal person that are trying to learn will need. So uh, now I have the lab in order to add devices, I need to uh, go to the left side of the screen and click on adding an object, then adding a nodes. But unfortunately, uh, the Bennett lab default image does not have any nodes uh, except Docker IO image and virtual PC. So I still don't have router, don't have switches, don't have anything. So what I need to do is to download images and how to do so. It is not using the uh, regular way uh, that many people do using uh, FTP and downloading images from internet. What will what I will show you now is a simple trick that will allow you to get to get whatever images you want in a very fast way.